Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. In this video session, we are going to see that uh, what is a standard input, output, and standard error whenever you are um, giving any input to the system. So, how you are going to give the input and uh, what is the output or the what are the errors it get on the terminal? Then how do you redirect those inputs and outputs and the errors to the certain files or from the files to the system or how you are going to do that so example say that uh, the program is here i'm using is called is on a terminal right in this terminal if i would like to give any standard input from the keyboard example say that uh, ls is the command which i given the command standard input to the system in order to execute that command it's given some output over here this is called a output which is showing to us is called as an output so here the ls is a command which i typed from the keyboard called as an input example this in a similar way if i type um, ls slash root over here which is also an output but which is not exactly the output what i'm expecting so the permission denied is an a error standard error so because i do not have the permissions to uh, list out that slash root directory uh, content so that's why i get an error so here this is called as a standard input which i am typing the command from the keyboard okay and this is called as a standard output where i get the uh, result as a command result whatever it is so are the display uh, information on the terminal that is called as a standard output and here what i'm getting the error this is called as a standard error the standard input will be shown the numerical value as zero okay and the standard output okay which is shown the numerical value as one okay and the standard error okay which is shown the numerical value as two so why I'm saying that the standard input is zero, standard output is one, and standard error is two. Okay. Example over here, if I'm going to tell you that, okay. So if your standard output you are getting over here is as an value of two at the one, sorry one, then the example the display is coming as as per expectation, but the standard error which shows as a two okay that is a standard error so why it is converted as a standard uh, 0 1 2 3 over here example i am showing over here it is that ls iphone sla ls space slash root so here what i am doing is that i just wanted to redirect this error output to the some file okay so similar way if you say to redirect to the something like errors over here so what i'm doing here is that redirecting the standard error uh, which means that suppressing the uh, output of the errors to the terminal so which means that i'm suppressing the i don't want to see any errors over here whatever the errors are there that should be redirected to the file see here now did i see any error over here but here i can see that the error would be recorded over here but if I say similar way slash home slash era so the display would be output would be displayed on over here but did I see any uh, recorded errors over here no right so that's what is that if you want to redirect these so if you want to differentiate what is error or the what is the input and output and redirections you can do that as well so if you want to redirect the standard output or if you want to surprise the output on the process processing the output on the terminal or the appearing the process output on the terminal the standard output would be redirected sorry the standard error would be the standard output would be redirected using the one or the sign called the sign so the greater than sign would be redirected the values what are the standard output to be five okay or if you want to do this as a standard error redirection you can use this 
2 and uh, redirection sign so which will do uh, redirect this error to the uh, files or if you want to do both you can also do that as well using this and sign okay which means that um, and symbol you can use one and two and say redirect okay which means that uh, two redirect and also one so which means that it is going to be redirect your uh, standard output and standard error to the files so in similar way here i am just showing you over here so just example say i am appending some content over here with two redirection and one which means that you will not get either the output or the error both will be appended to that file okay you can simply see over here like uh, slash root example over here and now you can go ahead and see this file so the both the content of this file the whatever the shown is the output is redirected to this file and as well as the redirection to this the error also is has been redirected over here so this is how you can do a redirection so the redirection symbol over here it is shown as this one and if you want to append so normal redirection would be this one if you want to append to the file continuously you can use this uh, two redirection symbols continuously which is going to be append to that one so let's go ahead and see some uh, examples over here example say i would like to save some command output to the some file so how you will do that so example say here i just type the date command over here the date would be redirected i would like to redirect or i want to save to the some file okay you can simply show that date and redirect and say that uh, time stamp something like this so in this here itself it's going to be create the timestamp value over here and it will direct over here so it has been done now you can go ahead and see this timestamp file and the timestamp has been stored in this file okay example say this is what the time whenever i was doing this timestamp but again if i do the same value over here what happens see this the before value was this one and the current value was this one so what happens the single sign what it will do it will erase the uh, before content on that file and it will write that what of the date command output to this file okay so or if you want to similarly do that but i want to append the timestamp continuously okay i don't want to delete previous content so you can use this uh, both redirection signs which will continuously going to add the content to that file continuously without erasing the previous one okay so like that you can use that so or if you would like to example say that um, uh, i want to capture some log files okay in the log file i would like to say top uh, 50 or top 10 or top 15 lines of the file to be redirected to one of the file okay example say sudo so i just what like to use over here it is that i am just using the tail command uh, i am specifying the number of lines example say 20 lines i would like to uh, cut from that file sorry uh, just uh, grab that file from the log file messages over here and redirect it to some files okay say that i would like to redirect to over here it is that log files 20 sorry log lines 20 so what happens over here it is that when i'm using this one the top 20 lines from that messages would be redirected to over here you can simply see that right or you can also count that lines using this count hyphen n which is going to be 20 lines see this like that we can use any redirection signs to um, redirect our example say directly type the command over here it's a directly type this subject example say that uh, testing mail input or testing st 
standard input okay and say that uh, a ravi at uh, localhost so here i am just sending this uh, tmp errors is to the mail body over here okay you can simply open this mail over here you get the some mail is a testing standard input over here you can simply type the mail one to read over here and you can see this so what is the content you get see this demo file okay this is the mail body content you get so that is what i am expecting because slash tmp errors contains that this is the content which is sent to this input to that mail uh, i would like to show you a few more examples over here it redirect like this so the tmp output over here and say error to the slash errors over here so which is redirected to the standard output but there is no output because i use the greater than sign over here but i use the error reduction over here see this so if you use within the same command also if you use this redirection sign greater than sign which is going to be uh, take only the output of it the content is uh, the command whatever the command is uh, produced any output that would be redirected to the output but if it is produced any error that would be redirected over here okay in this case if you'd like to do a both redirect uh, output and redirect error okay you can simply do like this example say that um, here i'm just using something like this redirect output or the redirect errors over here and one so what happens so whenever you do like this standard input and the standard error also will be redirected to that file see this so error and output also will be redirected but if you want only the uh, outputs to be redirected you can also do that or if you want to append the output out, um, error signed output along with this okay you can use two greater than signs at the same time so you can do that as well so it is appended like that if you want to capture any commands output over here okay you can also do that you can also do that example say that uh, maybe i would like to capture some commands so i would like to search something on the file okay or say um, like i would like to grab slash etc slash password file over here and say i like to grab from out of this one here so i just wanted to redirect this output to the slash lmp slash output so what has been the command output has been redirected to some file for the store store you can that you can store that as well and uh, you can get that output so like this you can use errors and redirection and appending and also you can also give some time as a uh, input to this file okay you can also do that example say that i just wanted to uh, give you a some input example see this for this grip command okay gripping this over here and just giving this uh, output as a input over here what happens so this file i am just giving the this file content i am just giving the input over here or you can also give this input in place of slash etc okay slash password file okay like that you can give the input and output and uh, errors to the different different files you can store this output to the file and you can store the errors only to the file or you can append the file existing file and you can also uh, give any input to the terminal as well by storing the commands into the file so that's about the examples guys i hope you understand please follow us on social networking sites if you have any technical related questions you can ask